Hey guys, that's Michael. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new video. And in this video, I want to clarify why it is just not enough to use the term intensity in context of your training without further clarifications, because this would just cause confusion. So what is the first meaning of intensity? The first one is proximity to failure. So the closer I train to failure, the more intense is one set. So if I'm doing dips and I'm really like grinding it out and I can barely go up anymore, this is way more intense as I have zero reps in reserve compared to a set where I can go up and up easily and stop maybe like five reps in or end the set with five reps in reserve. So first meaning of intensity is proximity to failure. Second meaning is percentage of your one rep max that you're moving on the set. So when I'm now adding 10 kg to my dip, I'm working with more percentage of my one rep max that makes the set more intense. That doesn't mean it has more or less reps in reserve. So make sure to not um, confuse those two as proximity to failure is different to um, the intensity that we mean when we're talking about percentage of the one rep max. So if I'm now doing this, I'm working with more weight. So the set is more intense, but I can still keep more reps in reserve and then make it less intense than a bodyweight set that is closer to failure. So here you see that the um, term of intensity is very, very difficult to use. So first meaning was proximity to failure. Second meaning is percentage of your one rep max of movement. And those two mean totally different things. So to you athletes and coaches out there, you need to clarify both terms when you are talking about the intensity that your client or yourself has to do in its workout. Now let's take a look at the last meaning of intensity and for that I'm going to show you two single bodyweight dips. First one, this. Second one, this. Those had the same weight, so no weight, so we had the same intensity in regards of percentage one rep max, but the effort I put in those two reps was totally different. And that is the third meaning of intensity. This is how much effort you put into a repetition. So how much of 100% willing contraction and acceleration you put into one repetition. And with this now, we have all three meanings of intensity. If you want a coach that knows how to program all three of these intensities correctly for you, implement them in your program that it really supplements your long-term goals, then you definitely need to schedule your free strategy call now so me and my coaching team can get you on your next level of performance and improve your skill game, improve your rated calisthenic and also help you with your nutrition. So schedule your free strategy call now.